everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you might know, these little things are very, very expensive. Channel Mum and Gumtree have set us a bit of a challenge, which is in this envelope here. So we're gonna have a look inside and see what this is all about. You wanna take it out? Ready? It says, Hi Charlotte, we're setting you a pop quiz today. We've been crunching the numbers and found out some surprising facts and numbers about how much it costs to prepare for a new baby. We're going to test your knowledge and see if you can guess correctly. Have a go at answering the questions on the enclosed envelopes. You will find the answer to each question inside. So, so question one, how much money do you think new parents spend on their pushchair, cot and nursery furniture? So, A is £1,421, B is £1,100, or C, £959. I have to say, it must be A, because there is just, there's so much stuff. With with Bill, um, he was like my surprise baby, so I didn't even have the money to buy things, so a lot of the things that I got were second hand. You know what, it was amazing, because he had everything he needed and more, but with her, a lot of those things like hadn't really lasted by the time we came to have a second baby, which was like pretty much four years on. So we bought quite a lot of things from scratch and everything is so expensive these days. So I'm definitely going with A, £1,421. I was right, the answer is £1,421, which is like, that's a holiday. So are we ready for question two? What percentage of new parents do you think buy a bigger house and car for their growing brood? A, 48%, B, 15%, and C, 10%. When I had Bill, I had a two bedroom house and it was perfect at the time, but I always knew that I wanted more than one child, so we moved house when he was about seven months old but already we would like a third child and we're at the point like can we extend this house or do we have to move so i would say a 48 percent of parents would move house oh yeah I'm massively competitive by the way, so I love it when I get questions right. So, question number three. Can you guess three of the top most unused baby items that parents-to-be purchase? I think the first one, I don't think you get them like massively over here, or maybe you do, but like wipe warmers, because I can't imagine they would ever get used at all. Um, I think slings will be another one. I know a lot of people buy them and never end up getting them out of the box or get a bit intimidated by using them, so I think that is definitely up there. And then I would also say tiny, tiny newborn baby outfits, like fancy, fancy outfits. I'm quite interested to see what this one is and see if I've missed anything out because I don't think I've got all of these right. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Nappy bin. Baby slings. So I did get that one right. Nappy stacker. Oh gosh, yeah, no, I never used that. Changing table, which I have to agree with actually because I just took the changing mat around the house with me. And the last one is white noise machine. So question four is, how much money do you think is wasted nationally on those unused baby items? A, 10 million pounds. <laughs> B, 100 million pounds, or C, 303 million pounds. I'm gonna go B, middle road, and go for 100 million pounds, because I don't want it to be C, because that is so much money. Oh, it is as well. C, 303 million pounds is wasted. That's, that's really bad, especially when you think that some people don't have anything and are really struggling. Question five, what did you worry most about as a parent? Can you guess the top three? The first thing was whether or not I would be good enough. The second thing was money, particularly with Bill, because I was always worried that we wouldn't be able to en make ends meet. And the third thing has to be like my children's health. When you love someone that much, you're always gonna be worried about them. I think it's like it comes with the territory. So let's have a look. Let's see what the top three are. Ha! Child health and well-being, so I think that's 
general, isn't it? Um, the second one was what the world will be like for them as they grow up. And the last one is costs associated with raising a child, which is a, a given, isn't it, really? So the final question is more of a task, actually, but you can do it with me if you want to. And it says that your final challenge is to go to gumtree.com and check out how many items are currently listed in the baby and kids stuff section. Surprise, have a browse and see what catches your eye. Should we have a look? So I've got my computer here, so let's take a look and see what is actually on here then. Let's log on. Gumtree.com. Whoa. At the moment, now I'm looking, it says that there are 208,732 ads in the baby and kids stuff for sale. And there is like <laughs> fidget spinners, there's like car seats, there's prams and pushchairs. Ooh, that's my pushchair. And it's 200 pounds. Let me tell you that, it doesn't cost that brand new. Jeez. So if I would be getting anything from here at the moment, it would probably be like garden toys because it's warming up. It's meant to be an absolute scorcher this week. And we want to like deck the garden out for the kids and stuff. Oh, so it's like a little little type activity garden, which is only four miles from me, and it's only twenty pounds. Oh, you like look at that? Oh, it's well cute. Oh, look at it. Right, so just out of interest, so that's twenty pounds on here. So if I Google that now, that costs. £46.66 brand new, which is like, it's quite a lot of money, especially because it's meant for babies, like Daisy's age, she's looking at the picture and trying to bring it close. So I have to say we are pretty impressed. Yeah, what did you think? Yeah? So, I mean, for me, I've used Gumtree before and I think it's a great site and it's a great way of finding things that are local to you with a lot less stress involved and it's a great way of get, getting rid of the things that you don't need because one person's trash is another person's treasure and if you can get rid of things and make new space and earn money at the same time while saving money at the same time i think it's a win-win also it's worth mentioning that three other channel mum vloggers have done this challenge with me as well so if you head over to channelmum.com then you can see all of their answers to their questions and what they think about gumtree and how they found the site as well if you're curious so it sure as hell is expensive being their mother sometimes isn't it but they are worth it you are absolutely worth it, aren't you? So yeah, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. You're going to say bye everyone. Say bye.